Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to share with you how I raise a caterpillar into a moth. This is a caterpillar. It is the juvenile of an Orlando hawk moth. Now I'm going to collect them into my plastic tank. Caterpillars are quite fragile. Some are equipped with some irritating defense mechanism. So I wouldn't recommend to touch them directly. What I'm going to do is just cut the whole stem of the plant which the caterpillar is clinging on in order to avoid direct contact with the caterpillar. So now I've done collecting some large and healthy specimens, it's time to feed them. Caterpillars are very picky with their taste on food. They only eat leaves from specific types of plants. And each species have different type of plants which they feed on. The rule of thumb is observe what the species of plants they feed on before collecting. And offer the leaves of that particular plants. The caterpillar will rather starve to death if they are fed with wrong types of leaves. I feed my Orlando hawk's moth with the leaves of the Taberna Montana divaricate, or commonly known as crepe jasmine. Be sure to provide fresh leaves as the caterpillar get their moisture from the plants. They cannot drink from water dish. Caterpillar has an enormous appetite. A single caterpillar need to eat food equivalent to 20 times of their own weight before turning into pupa. As you can see, the food is finished within 4 hours and now I'll need to replenish the new fresh leaves into the plastic tub. This is the pupa stage of the caterpillar. They undergo a biological process called metamorphosis, where each of the life stage looks completely different. These pupa are still able to move because they are freshly molted. After a few days, the color will become darkened and there will be no movement in the pupa. At this stage, they will stop feeding. I place them into a soft cocoa fiber bedding and lightly mix them every day to maintain the moisture and wait patiently. Finally, the moth emerged from the pupa. The whole process took me around 20 days. By the way, this is not a butterfly. Butterfly antennae are thin with club-shaped tips compared to the feathery comb-like antenna of moth. Moth are stout and fuzzy. Butterflies are slender and smooth. Overall, I would say this is a cool biological science project for kids during summer. So have you kept caterpillars as pet before? Are you interested in keeping one? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As usual, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more interesting video ahead. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.